Carolina. This is going to be a series of stretches for the low back, hips, and hamstrings, and a few for the shoulders that you could do while sitting in a chair. So if sitting on the ground causes you discomfort, do chair yoga. It's the, all you need is a good sturdy chair that's not on wheels, that ideally does not have arms on the sides either so that you can move around the arms. You're also going to want to have, for this, you're going to want to have a strap, which could be a dog leash or a, um, a bathrobe tie. If when you're sitting in your chair, if you slide up to the edge and then slide back. So feel where your heels want to fall naturally under your knees. Ideally, we want our knees right over our heels. But we also want our knees in alignment with our hips. And for a lot of us, either the height of our chairs or the length of our legs, we end up sitting in chairs and our knees are lower than our hip bones. So if your knees are lower than your hip bones, take a folded up blanket or a box, or I'm using two yoga mats side by side, and I'm going to put my heels right under my knees, and then my knees are in perfect alignment with my hip bones. So this takes a lot of pressure off of your joints. If you feel uncomfortable, lift it up. You can even lift it a little higher if you want to. So to begin this, we're going to take our strap and we're going to uh, um, open it up and lay it in our lap. And then we're just going to lift up to the top of our head, put our hands on our knees. And staying lifted, we're just going to fall forward. Then let our head drop at the end. And then roll up from the bottom. So the head is the last thing you come up. Then fold like you're laying your belly on your thighs and then your chest on your thighs and let your head fall. And then roll up from the bottom. Now we're gonna do four circles. So if you take a big inhale, you try to make it last for one whole circle. It doesn't matter which direction you choose. We're just trying to get some blood moving in the tissue that we're getting ready to be stretching. So if you can make one circle last an inhale, and one circle last an exhale, it can help you be present in your breath. Let's turn this around, we're gonna go the other direction now. So take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. We've got our waist warmed up, let's warm our neck up. So we're going to sit upright, lift the top of the head, and then let the chin fall forward. Right ear to the right shoulder, back of the head to between the shoulder blades. Don't rush. Left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. And do that again. And if you compare it with your breathing, gently roll the right arm towards the right shoulder. Don't lift the shoulder. Let your head continue to roll around until the back of the head gets near between your shoulder blades. Left ear to the left shoulder and chin to the chest. Now we're going to reverse for two the other direction. Left ear to the left shoulder. Back of the head to between the shoulder blades. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. And one more. Left ear to the left shoulder. Back of the head to between the shoulder blades. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. When you're ready to lift up, lift up to the top of your head. And then lift your heart. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our arms out to the side. We're going to push through the heels of our hands. Like we're trying to push the garbage compactor away from us in Star Wars. <laughs> so then we're going to take our arms, still pushing through the heels, we're totally going to cross them until our elbows are crossed, and then we're going to try to lay our hands on our own shoulders. Once we're here, we're going to let our elbows fall forward, like we're trying to lay them in our lap, and then we're going to tuck our chin. Relax as far forward as you can. If you want, relax a, uh, lay a pillow in your lap so you don't have to relax so far. 
When you're ready to come up, lift your head and look up, lift your back, take your hands out to the side. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, which means we're going to take the right arm under and the left arm over, cross all the way to the elbows, lay your hands on your shoulders, fold from the waist, lifting to the top of the head, and at the last second, let your chin come to your chest. When you're ready to come up, lift your head, lift from the waist, push your arms out and down. So our arms are open now, we're pushing through our heels. We're going to close left arm under the right, close all the way to the elbows. See if you can bring the left arm so that wraps the whole entire right arm and you're holding on to your own arm. If you can't quite make it, it doesn't matter. What we're trying to do is separate between our shoulder blades. So if you can make it to here, see if you can stretch that arm that's on top forward to maximize the stretch. Take a big inhale, bring it up. Take a big exhale, let your hands let go. Unwind, push out. This time the right hand is going to be underneath. The left hand is going to be across, elbow to elbow. Let the right arm wrap the left. Try to grab the palm or the waist, uh, wrist. Take a big inhale and an exhale. And if this doesn't feel too uncomfortable, see if you can drop your hands away from you. And then we're going to let our arm come back up. Release our hands. Untwist. Go out to the side. Let our hands come into prayer. <clears throat> now we're going to do some some shoulder things with the strap. We're going to take our strap. We're going to hold it out in front of us with our hands knee distant apart. So our hands are on our knees, pulling our hands away from each other to the direct side directions. Lift your hands up and out and up and out, pulling the whole way up apart from each other until your ears are between your biceps. Once you get here, let your right arm turn to the back and then come back to the center. And then your left arm come to the back and back to the center, a nice train. And then you're gonna keep pulling in opposite directions and slowly take your elbows apart from each other, pulling, pulling, pulling as you lower the strap behind your head. Any place that feels uncomfortable, take your time there and try to pull through it and stretch that area out. Once you're as low as you can get, take a second, take a breath. With your exhale and pull it apart, take your strap back up. It might make your arms shake a little bit, but that's good for them. So you're all the way up. Then we're going to let our hands slide on the strap until we've got about three feet of space on our strap. So we're going to let our right hand go to the back, but not the left. Let it come back up to level. Let your left hand go to the back, but not the right. Let it come back to level. We're going to take our right arm bicep to the right ear and let our left arm fall out and then back. And we're going to bring the bicep back beside the ear, pull up the hanging arm, let the other bicep come to the other ear, letting the heavy hand at the bottom pull down and then let them slide back. When you're ready to come out of this, bring your bicep back to your ear and let that top hand pull the other hand up and then keeping uh, pressure between them, pulling between them, slowly lower your strap into your back. 
Then you're going to take your hands and you're going to put them on the small of your, I'm sorry, on the uh, knees. And I want you to take the small of your back and we're going to do a combination called cat-cow. So cats, Halloween cats in particular, <laughs> when they get startled, they will bow up from their back like their heart is trying to jump out from between their shoulder blades. Then if we come out of this bowed up place, back to the center, and if our heart was trying to jump out to the front, the cow part, cows have this big belly that hangs down between all four of their legs, and sometimes they even have udders that hang between those. Then back between the shoulder blades, so cat, pushing to the back, come back to the center, cow, pushing to the front, come back to the center, don't let your shoulders move, this is totally the center of the back and the center of the chest as moving from the heart. Now we're going to do a seated twist. So we're going to bring our feet all the way together. We're going to straighten our right foot and put it over our left foot. And then we're going to take our left hand and put it on our right knee. We're going to take our right hand and we're going to hold the back of our chair. And then we're going to lift up through our top so we have lots of length in our spine. And we're going to turn from the center of our chest where our heart is to the back like we're going to look over our shoulder. Once you've gotten as far as you can turn, you can let your hand on your knee pull the opposite direction to maximize that stretch. With your inhale, you can lift your chest up. With your exhale, you can look back with your eyes, but not enough to strain your neck. Inhale, lift from the chest. Exhale, and look back. Then we're going to take an inhale, return our chest to the front. Put both hands on our knees, uncross this one knee, pick up the other knee, put it on top of the first one. We're going to take our right hand and hold our left knee. We're going to take our left hand and hold the chair behind us. We're going to lift up through the chest, up to the top of the head, and then we're going to turn from the center of the chest and try to look back over the back shoulder. We can use our hand on the front knee to pull it away from us. We can use our hand on the back of the chair to steady us. Take an inhale and lift your chest. Take an exhale and look back. Inhale and lift the chest. Exhale and look back. When you're ready, take an inhale. And exhale, return your chest to the front. Return your hand to the front. And we're getting ready to do a seated stretch. So we're going to take our feet, we're going to put them in front of us. I need to move away from the wall a little bit, I think. Walk them forward, walk your bottom forward until it's near the edge of your seat. Stretch your legs out as much as you can. Lay back, lean back, and then stretch your arms back. Feel the stretch through the entire front body. I can't quite reach back on mine. Imagine my arm being long. When you're ready, take an inhale, sit up, let your bottom slide back. And we're going to move now into a wide stance. So my feet are going to be wider than these yoga mats. They're open to the sides. I'm sitting up, I'm right in the middle of my seat, but you can sit wherever you want that feels comfortable to you. The first thing we're going to do is a side bend. So we're going to bring our uh, hands to prayer position in the center. And then we're going to take them out to the side. And we're going to let one arm come down and one arm come up. And if you can turn and look at the one that's going up, lift from the chest, feel across the front and the side. When you're ready, lift that top arm up. Push out through your heels at the side. Let the hand that was up before fall to the ground. Let the other hand raise up. Turn up from the chest. Look up at the top hand. Let the other hand pull you forward. Turn and look up at your hand. Turn your chest up. We're ready to come out of this. We're going to let our top arm pull our arms down. We're going to return our 
chest to the front. We're going to let our hands come back together in front. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on our knee. We're going to take our right hand, we're going to turn around, we're going to reach up, and then we're going to take our left hand and let it slide down our front knee while our chest is turning up and we're trying to look back over our hand that's behind us. I've got my whole forearm inside of my shin, so I'm completely anchored. I'm not going to fall off my chair. Stretch, turn, and look up at your hand. When you're ready, let this hand come down. Let the other hand come up until both hands are on your knees and you're in seated wide stance. We're going to take our other hand, our left hand, and we're going to go up. We're going to raise it behind us, and then we're going to slide the first hand down the inside of the calf until it's sitting on top of the foot. We are lifting from our chest, turning, and looking up at the hand that's behind us. Take a big inhale and lift your chest. Take a big exhale and turn and look at your hand. Try to keep both buttocks onto the chair. They want to come ungrounded, see if you can see them. When you're ready, let this hand pull you up. Return to your knee, pull your other hand up. We're going to do a version of a side triangle. So what we're going to do for this, I hate lunges, so here's my cheating lunge. We're going to turn so that one whole upper leg is on this chair. Sit where it feels comfortable to you, and then straighten your other leg out behind you. So I've got my foot on the ground so that my toes are pointed towards you guys. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my elbow on my bent knee, and then I'm going to float my other hand up, up, up to my ear, and turn and look up. This stretches the whole entire side. It's awesome. Stay here as long as you need to, as long as you like. When you're ready to come up, let your arm come out in a big wide circle. Lift your body up, put your hands on your seat. Slide back to the center. Slide to the other side until your knee is on one side and your uh, whole body is supported on the thigh. Put your other foot on the ground towards, so that it's pointed towards the mirror or towards me. Take this elbow, lay it on your knee, take your other hand, float it up from the side, looking up at the fingertip, at the middle finger, roll your shoulders back, lift from your chest, look up under your arm, enjoy this nice stretch of your whole entire side. seat, come back to center, and we're going to do the last pose, which is a modified version of a pigeon pose. So our feet are back, uh, heels under the knees, knees in alignment with the hips. We're going to move the left foot right into the center, and we're going to take the right ankle and heel, and we're going to lay it on the left knee. So. A lot of guys sit like this all the time. Girls, our mom always told us, never sit like this. <laughs> so the knee is, uh, the ankle is on the knee, the other knee is square, and I want you to think about lifting up through the top of your head and slowly falling forward over this foot that is on your knee. And what you can do is you can put your elbow on your foot, right in the instep, and sit your chin and your elbow. So if you can't reach very far forward, you can sit here for a good while and get a wonderful stretch in your opposite hip. If you can go further than this, lift up to the top of your head, fold from your heart, and get to a place where maybe you could put them on your, your chin on your fists, or maybe you could use a pillow or two pillows. But try to allow yourself to feel this whole entire back hip getting stretched. We're going to do 
one more version of this. I want you to lift up, stretch the top of your head. We're going to fall from our chest. And once you've gotten as far as you can with your chest, let your forehead drop. Try to let the weight of your head pull you forward. Root through the heel that is on the ground. This is a wonderful one to hold for a very long time. This stretches out our deepest muscle tissue of our biggest muscle in our entire body and it is almost never gets stretched out. If you can stay here long enough, you will feel a stretch all the way to your coccyx bone. That's how deep it will go. When you're ready to come out of this, don't just lift up. Use your hands to push you up. Let your head come up last. Walk your hands back. Using your hands, pick your foot up off of your knee, put them side by side, pick this one up, and sit it on this knee. So your foot's on your opposite knee. You're going to lift up through the top of your head, up through your heart, and staying lifted out, you're going to fall forward. So again, you can put your elbow on your knee, you can sit on top of your fist, or in your palm. Try to relax. Any place that feels tense, try to breathe into it. If you're ready to try to go a little bit deeper, lift up to the top of your head, folding forward from the belly, reach out, 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 and then try to rest your forehead on something. It might be in your palm, it might be on two fists, it might be on the back of your hand flat. Try to relax here. Feel that whole hip opening. This is probably one of the best and most important stretches that we can do. as high as you can, push the pads under each finger together, push the pads at the end of the fingers together, and slowly lower through your heels, pushing in, 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 stopping at your eyeballs, stopping at your mouth, stopping at your heart. Your shoulders are the last thing to come down. We're getting ready to relax here for a second, so what I want you to do is take a big inhale, through the top of the head. With your exhale, let your hands relax down into your lap, palms up, and let your whole body relax. Feel your shoulders hanging long. Feel yourself centered and upright, your heart directly in the center of your chest.
our fingers. Relax here for a minute, pushing through the heels of your hands. Feeling yourself elongating the whole back of the neck. And when you're ready to lift your head, lift to the top of your head. worked for you or if even more important didn't work for you, please tell me so that I can learn.